Today, we're gonna to talk about a brand new, very economical paint called No Name Airbrush Paint. No Name. I spent a lot of time testing and using a lot of different airbrush paints. Trident, Aquaflow, Chroma Air, Comar, E-Tag, Golden, and of course, everything, Createx. And I get asked all the time about these cheap sets that come with a lot of colors that you can get that are imported from China and sold on Amazon with a lot of colors because the price is very compelling. But now I think you have a better option at the same price point and made in the USA. Let's find out more about these paints. Right now they come in two different sets. One is a primary set, which was black, white, red, yellow, blue, and reducer. The other set is a 16 color set, which has white, yellow, apple green, light blue, pink, magenta, purple, violet, orange, red, blue, dark green, brown, Payne's gray, sepia, medium gray, and black. They all dry to a matte finish. I painted this little parrot. I'll do a little walk through of this shortly. And with this, and as you can see, the surface remains completely flat, which if you are not aware, that can be a really big deal. You get none of that strange feeling. You get no tackiness and on your surface. You have a couple of options to reuse. One, you can use their reducer. Um, however, scratching and erasing techniques, it's probably even better if you use just distilled water and retarder. Well, you add a little retarder to your distilled water and that works out fine. Their reducer works out just fine. And there are some other reducers from other brands that you're probably going to be able to get away with. I have tested and successfully, but I'm not gonna necessarily recommend that you do that right off the bat. So those are your options. So we're gonna see if we can uh, pull any of the paint off with tape and we're not gonna have any paint pull off, I can tell you already, but uh, there's no residue sticking to the tape. So the paint is sticking to the surface in the way in which it's intended to. While remaining fairly durable, it also allows for soft erasing, hard erasing, and scratching, which gives you a lot of options for illustrative techniques without turning glossy when rubbed on. Okay, so I know some of you have seen this clip of which I've did, a really quick clip of this parrot. I'm gonna have a tutorial on that in the future, but I ran through and painted this parrot up on a piece of illustration board, and I'm using a point to airbrush using only the no-name paints and using multiple different techniques to create this painting. I wanted to see what I could do with this. And of course, as I got get more comfortable with these paints, I probably could have even better results than here. But, um, you know, what I accomplished with this is still nothing that I could complain about whatsoever. I was able to accomplish just about anything I wanted to with these paints without any issue and was able to get in there some pretty tight detail. As you can tell, I use those erasing and scratching techniques on this video as well as traditional airbrush techniques. And I was very, very impressed with what I was able to achieve with these um, right when I was just getting used to these in the beginning. So what do I think? I think these are pretty great. I could have paid double what I paid for these and not been upset whatsoever. Am I saying I'm getting ready to throw away my more expensive paints and work only with these? No, I'm not. But I really have no complaints about these. As a matter of fact, there's some things I like about these more than some of my more expensive paints. The no-name brand is Spray Gunner's house brand, so of course you can buy them directly from Spray Gunner. I'll leave you a link for that. But they were designed from the get-go to compete with these other inexpensive paints, so they are available on Amazon Prime for those of you who have a Prime membership, which for a lot of you, that's probably a big deal because if you don't buy enough paint direct from manufacturers or suppliers to get free shipping, Amazon, if you have a Prime membership, already going to have free shipping. So I think they've hit a home run with these. I like them. I like them a lot as I get more and more into them. The only complaint, again, that I would say is they do not have single bottles. So without having single bottles, 
That means I'm probably gonna wind up with leftover bottles of colors I don't use a whole lot of. Um, but that's really not gonna be a big deal for me. I'll just recycle and use them into my brush painting and stuff like that, or give them to my wife to use for her painting techniques. But anyway, guys, that's gonna be a wrap for today. Let me know what you think about these video, and let me know if you are interested in getting these, and tell me what you think. That's gonna be a wrap. Y'all have a great day. Bye.